up everybody welcome to the god factory and uh it's me elite seas all right so today i'm just going to teach y'all real quick um well as quick as i can on how to um make farm accounts automatically just automatically make farm accounts uh so first thing you're going to need is you're going to need an android device or either you're going to need a computer that can install blue stacks or some sort of android emulator um, you can do this um, while you like sleep or whenever like you're you're not on your phone or something like that and uh, whatever um, or you can watch it and just keep doing more and more manually or however you want to do it anyway um, I'll go into other stuff in different videos but this is about the automatically creating those so first you're gonna need to create yourself a new account so log out Pretty simple. Uh, start a new game. <coughs> Jump right in here, and I'll just time how long it takes us to do this. So, um, before we start, though, we will. Um, I'll tell you. So, first, what you're going to have to do is manually do it once. So you're going to record yourself doing it, and then you're going to allow it to do it by itself <coughs> after you've showed it how to do it. Um, you'll save that configuration. Okay, so uh, ClickMate um, is the service that I'm using right now. I'll put that link to download that service. You can see this little floating thing up here. That's what that is. <clears throat> so this is going to record my actions. I'm not going to record these actions right here. I'm just going to agree to that, agree to that, and then I'm going to just manually speed fast this this tutorial here um, you can choose to automate that too but that's up to you entirely so for the most part these games are structured this game is structured the same way for everyone as you start and if you follow so what we're gonna do to make it easy is we're gonna follow the quest and that's how we're going to build this farm from scratch so what we'll do is we'll begin to do this but you you got to wait a little bit for this thing to capture you, you can't just do it as fast as you can you have to let it record you and then let you know it's done recording um, for you to begin recording again but anyway let's just get into it I'm gonna start this timer to see how long it takes so we have to do it once so usually I break these into two pieces I'm gonna try out a full stretch and I'll let you know in between when I recommend that you stop it and create a new one for the second stage um, but I'm, I'm going to continue to go to make the whole thing to see if we can um, accomplish that. Um, I don't know if it'll have the memory to do that. I don't know if this app is that, um, you know, big or whatever or uh, capable. So let's just go ahead. I'll, I'll collect this free thing because everybody will get the same thing until they change it. So everybody will get the same stuff there. Doesn't really matter because we're not going to go into our items for this anyway. Um, you don't need that to get to level 7. That's what we're going to do. We're going to make a level 7 farm automatically. And from there, you can continue to create these automated systems to get them higher. Or you can just do it all, get it all the way up to like level however high this technique will let you without having to dip into your items. So I recommend doing this like this. Uh, so first of all, when you're setting it up, you want to try to do it like this um, <clears throat> you don't want to do your starting one that you're going to use for all of your accounts uh, well, I mean for all of your new accounts you don't want to do your starting one during a building event or anything like that because it'll give resources that this account could automatically use that accounts that didn't have this event going on at that time won't have to use so it'll mess up your auto. So just make sure that you're not using anything in your items if you're gonna be doing it during your building event. So that's the, the very first thing you wanna do when you make this new account is this. Come here and then you'll take off event notification. We're gonna take that off for sure. And then all these other, you know, contingencies here. Um, I'll usually take off that. 
We're going to keep this on because we're going to use this. All right, cool. So free things. We'll go join a league. And then we'll leave the league because we don't want to be asking for any helps that might not or might be there. <coughs> wow. So many. <laughs> uh, anyway. So what we'll do first is we will go right into it and we'll start to record what it takes to do a farm. Now this is an auto farm. I'm not going to build this in a way to where it's going to be the most optimum farm that it can be uh, with what I'm being given. I'm just doing this to get a fast farm made that can be hit whenever I want it to be hit and then boom onto the next one, boom onto the next one. And these farms at this stage will produce about a million of whatever resources um, per every 24 hours or so. But it might be um, the ending part you might want to do manually because some accounts will end up having more or less things than other accounts. So you might be able to make it a little bit better before you log off that account forever or whatever the heck. But th this will be getting to level 7 and, that, and then from there <coughs> from there you guys should be able to figure out how to do it from there. <coughs> so let's begin. We're going to begin our record. This little pop up will pop up until you say do not show again. You can read it or don't. Now I'm going to just press the quest. <coughs> I'm going to follow it and we're just going to do everything exactly how these little mini tutorials are going to ask us to do. We're just going to do everything there. The hunting. We're going to continue and then come back down to the quarry. I mean to the quest, I mean to the, do the quarry. <coughs> now I'm going to do this slow and steady because last time I tried to do this, it I, I was kind of being impatient and I messed up in some areas. So I'll tell you, slow and steady, the less clicks you have, the better this will perform. So missed clicks are no good and making mistakes in this process are also no good. So we're just going to go with the game's requested things. If you make a mistake, you have to start over. Or else your thing will continuously make that mistake over and over again. Player rename. Once it gets to this player rename part, just come back to your little screen here. And then we will continue with our quest. <coughs> don't make it make a new name because it won't let... You don't want to be trying to automate name creation with a very simple macro app. <laughs> we'll train those. Continue. All right, we can go back. Go back to the quest. So obviously you, you could probably fast forward the video unless you want to hear the tips that I'm probably might give you or might not give you throughout this little grueling process I have to do once for you. I mean, I technically don't think I have to do it for you. I can, I can just tell you, hey, look, do this one time, record it, <laughs> and then let it do it itself later on. That should probably be enough. But the reason for me doing this is to show you that, that it functions. <coughs> so it's brought us to the VIP with the little mini quest thingy, or mini tutorial. I'm going to click the 24-hour one. Then we're going to press free. <coughs> let that animation go press confirm and then we're going to go ahead and hit our quest here see I missed clicked once so now we're at our storage or our warehouse so they want us to upgrade it and the store I mean the warehouse <laughs> let's say it again the warehouse is one of the most important parts about your, your, your farms so we're going to click out of that little mini tutorial and then Slowly drag this over while you're in record mode, and then let it go. All right, and then do that with all of them. You want to make sure they're down so you can attack them and take all the stuff, you know. All right, bringing that up. So it's gonna slowly simulate what you just did. Don't do too fast because sometimes this would be messing up. So do that.
All right, so we got it all at zero. Cool. So I think that's all we needed to do there, right? Lumberyard, level one. Let's keep going. <coughs> so they want us to build a lumberyard. Oh, yeah, I, I was about to start going fast. So re remind yourself. Go slow or else you might mess up. Because, um, if, as you can see, the screen gets kind of, like, faded or something like that. And that faded mode is when it's recording. If you click while it's not faded, it doesn't record that click. So it won't happen when you try to run it again, which will mess it up. Alright, so the events, they want to show it to us. They're always going to show it to you, so we'll go through it. <coughs> We can get back to doing what we're doing. Quest. Maybe I'll speed this up and then tell you guys to slow it down if you want to hear the rest. Hero Temple to level 3. Let's do it. <coughs> now if you want, you can add some research in here to get you some... Um, Oops, I did something wrong. You can add some research in here to get you some better build time. So, like, um, so you can use less speed ups. I'm just using the speed ups because it um, it gives you enough to get to where you need to be, and it will complete one of those like events or something like that. <coughs> Alright, so the next one is upgrade the wall, level 5. Warehouse level 5. So this is something that you would do, you can do a lot of, uh, it seems like they, they want you to do this type of stuff because the quest button is just so easy, it takes you right there. <coughs> <coughs> Warehouse level 5. I was about to start going fast. So anyway. Um, if you're a free to play player, I highly recommend that you don't go past level 14. If you go past level 14, um, before you have enough stuff to actually get strong enough to where you don't need a shield, you're going to always need a shield. <laughs> you're going to be using your resources, or not resources, but your gold at least. Wait, I think this this game takes loyalty for shields, but you're going to be using that stuff for shields. So you, you should stay level 14 so your hero can't be taken. Upgrade dwelling. <coughs> But if you absolutely can't, you can upgrade to like level 19 or something. Your hero can be taken, but it can't be um, executed. So that's kind of a safety measure. But then you'll be like kind of waiting around while your hero's in someone else's prison. All right, so. I could have just waited for that. Watchtower level 5. I'm trying not to mess up here. Level 5 Watchtower. Oh, you know what? Oh, no, that, that doesn't matter right now. I thought I messed up because the second part of this will depend on you having your screen in a certain position. Don't go collecting nothing either. Don't don't collect stuff because everything's not static. <coughs> like this little secret gift down there at the bottom. Don't collect that because that's not the same every single time. So if you rely on that during your recording, it might not 
pop up on someone else's, I mean, on another account because it's totally different. Like this right here, these five minute speed ups. They're, you're only supposed to really get one of these, so I'm not using any more than, than one to record this. But I'm doing this during a build event, so I have more than I would normally have. Embassy level one. <coughs> Embassy level four. I almost started going fast again. It's easy to start just like trying to take off and get it done. <coughs> Upgrade farm level six. So this part is something you probably don't need to sit through. Oh yeah, so Hero comes up, or Keeley's, whatever the hell they call him on here. So, confirm. Just don't do your skills yet. Because <clears throat> right now we're just getting things up to level. You'll have to decide what you want to... make this into a, you can make it this a farm of all the resources that will pump out equally amount I mean an equal amount of everything or one resource that'll pump out a whole bunch of of one thing but that's totally up to you uh, this first part is is not about that this first part is just getting everything up to level seven really fast and then you will work on getting an actual farm built, like a farm account built. Mine to level six. Because as is, you know, it's not going to produce very much. It only has one of each farm. They're not all maxed out. Lumberyard level six, so we don't have to click the quest. We know it's right there. I mean, it, it would probably be safe for you to click the quest, though, honestly. Because maybe something happens and it's not there. Barracks to level six. <coughs> everything leveled up all right so once you get to this point this point right here you'll need to go down into your quests so I misspoke before so everybody's quest should be pretty much the same so you'll just go ahead and slowly click these you're not gonna just click 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 through them because as you can see, the screen turns not dim when I click it. And then if I click one of those while that screen is not dim, it won't record that click. Which means that there will be a quest missing. And I'm so used to just clicking these really quickly that I've, I've done this, I've tried to do this several times and it just, uh, I messed up. <laughs> and I had to keep doing it, redoing it, redoing it, making a new account. So you can choose to keep these accounts. I don't know if the account will randomly teleport if there's no email attached to it after a certain amount of time. I know that level 5 accounts and down will randomly teleport. I don't know about level 7 accounts. I imagine that they would also teleport eventually. I'm doing a test now and I'll let you guys know in the next video what I find out about that if it happens before my next video. So, ooh, I almost misclicked. And then we're, um, I'm gonna do a so, so you would, let's say hypothetically you do this and then you have like a whole bunch of um, 
farms that you did because there's just so many. <laughs> just autopilot. Let's go back out here real fast. All right, let's just go back into our quest. <coughs> if you have a whole bunch of these accounts, level six is what we gotta do. If you have a whole bunch of these accounts, the problem you're gonna be faced with after you've gotten these done is how you're gonna transfer all these resources because you got all these accounts, these march times on this game, they're extremely, like strenuously long. It's, uh, why are they going, like taking so long? And then the, the march load, the troop load, it's not very high. So you're gonna have to be sending a lot of marches in or either you're gonna have to be transferring a lot of those resources, you know, sending them to yourself, but then you lose a lot of them. I would just attack the base. Um, in a future video, I can show you how to automatically do that. It won't be this video because that would just take too long. Uh, on on it would take too long on top of what I'm doing here, showing you how to make this farm. Ooh, I misclicked. You see that? Ooh, I misclicked again. Each missed click is just like another, like, maybe it won't work now. <laughs> so, I've done it before where a, a missed click has worked and then eventually it stopped working for some reason. Maybe it's the app for getting the macro. I don't know what it is, but upgrade wall. Alright, so we're almost to level 7. We're almost, oh, I forgot to start the timer. Wow. I guess we're not gonna find out how long this part takes. <laughs> you guys, if if you if you know about that timer thing, it's an inside joke. You probably don't play this game if you know the inside joke, <laughs> because whatever. All right, so I'm just gonna use these one minutes because, like I said before, these five minutes, uh, I think you only get one of those. So I would recommend just slowly clicking here. I, I forgot to start the timer. I'll start the timer for the next half. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, I'm, I'm gonna catch some heat for that if anybody watches this. I don't think anybody's gonna watch this that knows about that inside joke. Oh man, I forgot to start the timer. All right, so we scrolled down for some reason. I made it scroll down, so it's gonna it's gonna calculate that. All right, so we got to level seven. All right, so I'm gonna continue this one. Usually, I would stop it right here. I would stop it right here and then make a new one because I don't want to make all I don't want all my farms to rely on the same file thing because you know one's gonna be a wood one, one's gonna be a farm one, one's gonna be you know whatever. But for the sake of time, I'll just do the, turn this one into a a farm producing thing that will, you know, give you some of all of them. So I don't know. I, I I think each one of these can you can give like five of each. So actually, no. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do one that will just we'll do a food one, a, a all food one. So we'll click here, farm. But first, we'll start the timer. So the second half, we got a timer going. Cool. Alright, so we're going to build a farm. That's what the timer was for. We weren't using it for anything else. So we'll get everything to level 1 really quick. Alright, confirm. Don't uh, adjust your skill. So if you... So this is something you need to know. Like, if you are... Just or if you're gonna make these in two pieces, like I, I recommend that you do. Like I told you, I would tell you when you should probably make a new one for this part. This is the time, because then you'll need to make four different copies of this so that you can make um, a food one, a wood one, a stone one. Unless you want to just make them all pump out a little bit of all of them, so that's not a bad idea either. So in that case, you would just need one one save file. But if not. Um, you would need to um, just break those save files. So we're gonna get everything level one. But but so so when you do come and make an individual one like this, you need to make sure that your your um, your 
camera or whatever is like in the same exact position so if you click and drag your finger around on the map you'll notice that inside your base there's a square border you can be in so make sure that you're in the like all the way to one corner exactly in that corner like as far as you can go so that you know for a fact you're in the same position for all those clicks to land in the right spot so I usually choose the top right hand corner or the bottom uh, right hand corner if I'm doing when I'm doing my farms um, and then if I'm doing the dwellings up there for the copper I'll be in the upper like left hand corner or something like that so just make sure that you are if you're making a separate um, recording for each farm to be in the same position every time when you first start it, it is imperative or else it will not work so we're just gonna make sure everything's to level one so in case you know something happens and you're like dang it I gotta restart this or whatever you can just abandon this or whatever not maybe not abandon it you know maybe manually do it but start a new one on auto um, I'm just gonna make sure that at least everything is producing something so we're gonna get everything to level one it is minute to say the least all right so we have one that's down here it's kind of being sneaky behind this free thing so I mean maybe yeah I can like collect that in the beginning it'll run into this problem so I did it hopefully you know that works see I don't recommend using a lot of these click drag mechanisms here because I've seen that mess up so as much as you can try to avoid that but if you cannot then you know what it is it is what it is so find out where it messes up and make a new one you know you're just gonna have to try some trial and error alright so got another one now we're gonna do our dwelling here <coughs> I mean, at this point, you could probably tell it to start on some research, you know, something like that. So let's go into the research here. Since you're over here, and you don't have to move back to it, you can probably start giving some free construction time. And, you know, you could probably even, yeah, we could probably just do some speed ups on that. All right, so now we need to keep on scrolling over. make sure to wait until the screen completely stops moving before you start trying to move it again or else you know computers dwelling so we'll continuously do that and you know we're not gonna upgrade our dwellings before we upgrade our main farms though so uh, if you if you want make it easier you know just upgrade all your farms before you do your dwellings before you even come up here doing this. I may speed this up in a time lapse kind of thing. So we've been at it five minutes now. So five minutes to make the farm so far over five minutes well this second half of the farm wow I can't believe I forgot to start the timer somebody's gonna give me crap for that <laughs> all right so Now we're going to upgrade all of our farms to level 2. Well, we're going to we're going to do that with the bulk of them. We're going to get them up to like level 4 or whenever this free thing stops. Once this free thing stops, we will come back to them all. Oops, I clicked that. I misclicked. Now everything's going to click that. So, there goes a click right there. It discovered that. Each farm's going to discover it. All right, let's get the rest of these out of the way before we try to mess with that over there. Okay, let's try to move it down here. All right. 
right, so we got that. And now, instead of clipping it, do clip it. So that'll be in every single recording. That mess up right there. We're gonna let it. We're gonna let it slide. You know, because I'm not doing this over again. Uh, I mean, I will for myself, but I already have a perfect one on my phone. Actually, no, I messed up. I gotta. I gotta redo it. <laughs> So it, it, it does it does kind of it's kind of hard to get it correct. Just don't make any mistakes. It's real easy to make mistakes, but this is kind of like a process where it's so easy to get like in that like drone state of mind. It's where you like oh shoot I misclicked didn't even knew I misclicked. Man, I was about to start going fast. All right, so I got all those to level three. We'll get them to level four. <coughs> Let's see how high I can go with this free. <coughs> oh yeah, I did that little, a little speed up button or the speed up thing for the, in the in the research. All right, so I think that was the last one. Yeah, so I think everything can be level six until. I think I'll just do everything level seven right here. I don't have to come back here. Like I said, a, a, a lot of scrolling, it can like mess things up. So it does look like I'm running out of resources. So before I get to that point, I'll... Oh, see, I misclicked right there. Look at that. I almost spent gold. Before I completely run out, I'll get all of these, as much of these up to level 4 as I can. And it looks like I'm out of resources, so we'll go ahead and give them all right so now we'll need to come into our quests again and collect the last little bit that we're going to be able to have for this farm now that little boat thing over there it will give you resources you can add that into your auto but only add the stuff that comes from that boat because that's the only static item that that um well, if I'm if if I'm missing something, then you know make it known. But uh, I, off the top of my head right now, the only static items that I I can remember right now is the things that come off that boat. Um, only add that into your automatic building of your farms. That's the only thing that you only other resources you should add to what I'm just showing you right here. Nothing from the little smacking of the monster in there or whatever. Don't add none of that because all that stuff's random and it's impossible to try to figure out how to hypothesize what you're going to receive from that. So don't use those items um, in your automatic thing. Um, but you can use the stuff that come off that boat for those rewards. So um, after you no longer have any quests that you can harvest, then you'll 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 use the stuff from that boat. I'm not gonna do it for this one, but make sure to remember whenever you're setting like a little swipe or a scroll record, that you do it kind of slow or else it might not pick up. Because it might make it weird and like slide really far or something. All, right, so all the ones in this spot are past level four. Wait, no, we got two of them. Level six. All right, we got one more. Oh, confirm. Remember, just confirm. All right, they're all level six. Let's get them to level seven. Ah, uh, wait. Let's go work on our little ones first, because you know what? We're running out of resources for this auto thing, so we want to. We'll, we'll, 
what we'll do is we will check on it. We'll go up here. How about that? All right. So we'll click on this. How much food are we gaining? 937. All right. So let's let's keep doing these ones here try to get these ones up high enough to where we can make it to a million so that we can hold a million and get that per hour kind of raised up a little bit try to have us the, the small the smallest number of level ones and twos in your base as you can so we, we don't want those level ones and stuff I'll make sure those are gone but I'm gonna miss some of the ones down at the bottom there probably because I'm probably gonna run out of resources before I get there so like I said I don't want to do too many swipes during this process those ones at the bottom it's not a problem to do manual once you realize how much of this has been done auto for you you can you can go ahead and try to do those bottom ones I do it it does work it's just for the sake of this video and demonstration of it I'm not gonna probably do them. Maybe. Just like I'm not gonna do the. the you'll do the. You'll do this exact same thing, for the. Um, for your dwellings up there, your dwellings will have the same little process, but you'll start it up in the upper, left-hand corner in order to get your points you know on point where you want them to be at so we're over a million so with the technique that I have not discussed in this video alright so from there we'll see what we can do nothing we've run out of stuff to use you could come here go to your items go to chests as a matter of fact I would not recommend coming in here because these things will get in the way because what you really need we're gonna stop this now so what you really need is the stuff that's down here you need that stuff and sometimes that's at, at the top so don't add that stuff into your into your spins because these event items right here will pop up and get in your way so with that being said what we'll do is try to see if it worked. So before we do that, I'm going to save it. So it's going to go to some weird screen. It's going to go to the screen of the app itself. Uh, let me see. Let's see if I can get you guys to see this a little better. All right, so it's going to tell you guys to do something like save as. All right, cool. So what was that event? I'm going to make sure I know this is the one that has the event off. Event off. Because I've, I've sometimes made these where I accidentally forgot to turn the event off. So I have that as the event on. So event off. Level 7. Food farm one million food. So, because it can store one million food. All right, cool. Well, I don't need to put like food farm. Level seven farm, one million food. All right, cool. I mean, it doesn't matter what you say that is. That's just me being picky. All right, cool. So, um, back here. So at this point, what you'll need to do is you'll need to, you know, log out of this game. Uh, I would recommend attaching it to like an email or something. Um, but if you run out of emails, you can just fire and forget these. Hopefully, they'll stay. Oh wait, the timer. All right, cool. So it took us about 15 minutes to do that last part whatever we'll see it on the thing if we did it I've stopped the timer <laughs> I've, I've remembered it 
so create an account so I already have an account so we'll just go ahead and do that I'll confirm and then I'll enter my information here but first I will turn this off so that it doesn't show you my information someone figures out my information by hearing exactly how far the keys are from the microphone Figure out with echolocation. All right, this account will be lost. So that account right there, I just lost it. <laughs> so I've logged into this one. All right, it's so my little account. It's just like he's like level fourteen. Uh, anyway, um, now we'll come and create a new account. Let's see what let's, let's see what happens. Let's see if this thing actually works. So we'll we'll just go ahead and time it. <laughs> we'll start the timer when this thing starts to see how long it took. There's our contingency right there. So that was that 16 minute mark. We'll reset it. Uh, confirm. All right, we'll start a new game again. Confirm. All right, so I didn't add this stuff or this beginning tutorial into the automation. So. I'm just going to click through it like this, like I did before. Remind you, if this messes up and you forgot to do something, you got to restart. So, make sure to come and turn off the thing. The event thing. I do these little things here. All right, so now what do we do? We collect our little freebies. Boom. Collected it. We have another freebie. They want to join a league. All right, remember, get out of the league. <coughs> and then from there, we will try our luck with this clicker and see if it works. So, I'm going to start the timer now, and then I'm going to press play. Let's see what happens. All right, it's doing it by itself. I'm not clicking. I'm over here clapping my hands and stuff. I'm not, not touching nothing. I should have put the camera on. Well, 14, 15 seconds in. Let's see. Let's see how long this takes. Let's see where it messes up at. I did do some misclicks, so that would mean that I would need to redo this <laughs> if those misclicks messed me up. Alright, so theoretically, you could just like go do some other stuff while this is happening, come back, and then finish off the rest of the resources in that account by boosting this up a little bit more as high as it can go. Uh, save this for, to an email, start on an another one, and then come back when you're ready to you know, push this little farm a little further however you like to do your farms you can automate all of that that's the that's the that's the coolest part about it and then and then doing this stuff it'll also complete some of these events and if you know see there we're, we're at the name character part we're a minute in we hit the, that part so boom it's going into the build So this first part is mainly just to get your stronghold to level or your or your acropolis to level f level seven. I'm doing a test right now to see if level sevens will randomly teleport after logging out of them with no email attached to them. Uh, we've gotten to level well, we're to the VIP right now. Let's see. I used the 24 hour one last time, so let's see what happens this time. 24 hours. It went back. It should press the free button. It did. Now 
we're creating accounts, <laughs> creating accounts after accounts. Uh, well, we'll see if it. Oh, yep, it's still going. All right, so we made it to the warehouse. We're two and a half minutes in. Made it to the warehouse, so we'll be seeing that little click and drag. Well, this is a crucial moment here because we need to know if our click and drag recorded and picked up properly. There we go. It's it's clicking. You know, I mean, it's it's doing it. See, my mouse is over here. You know, this well, it's over here. I'm gonna take it off the screen though. As a matter of fact, I'll just leave it right here so you can see that's where my mouse is. All right, so. Actually, I'll leave it clicked on gold. So if I ever click and, you know, open up the gold thing. All right, three and a half minutes in, we are at the the wall get upgraded to level four. All right, level five in under five minutes. That's cool. Uh, under four minutes. Well, maybe we'll see. There we go. Level five stronghold under five under four minutes. They're telling us to check out the events like I showed you guys last time. It's, it's, it's going pretty smooth right now. So hopefully it remains smooth with those scrolls I had to put in. So this part is normally the easy part because all you have to do is click on the quest button. And the quest button will take you to upgrade your stronghold. That's pretty much what it's doing. And then um, the, the hard part is making sure that those swipes are recorded properly. So that's why I would recommend doing these in two parts. Because if the swipes don't do it properly, you got to figure out how that kind of works. And then you don't have to do this whole part right here that's going on right here. You don't have to do this ever again. You just have to do the swipes for um, adding in your farms, your farm buildings. You just have to do those ones over. And don't worry too much about the copper, like the dwellings and stuff. You want those to go up high, but uh, all your farms will be producing that. So just make sure they're kind of they're they're respectable. You know, make sure that there's like the no level ones after you've logged out of it. Get them all to like at least level three or four. You know, and then they'll have some resources you can steal from time to time. And that's I'm I'm saying these numbers because you know th those numbers are really insignificant in this game. As you get further in the game, like you're gonna need way more resources. So like um, tending to some of these farms or having a lot of them is going to be imperative. You're going to either need, need to have some really good farms going and a lot of them or you're going to need to have way, way, way more of these just burner farms and just fire and forget. And so let's say you have about 10 or 12 of these um, farms made up um, I'll show you how to you know collect all that like while you sleep you can wake up with like over a hundred million more resources in your in your inventory than well not your inventory but your storage over a hundred more million resources you know evolved resources assorted just overnight while you you know you, you went to sleep and you woke up and now you have all these resources because you you attack you automatically attacked everything i'll show you guys that too so and that's that that right there it's like oh man i can barely sleep you know because i'm waiting for this thing <laughs> i would make the screen wide but i don't want to do that because i forgot to do it and i don't know if it's going to change the resolution for the clicks oh it shouldn't because i'm following the quest i should do it for the other part so the moment another click happens oh wait the dwelling I think I do one about that one quick I'm afraid if I uh, make the size bigger it'll mess up Oh, did it mess up? All 
All right, upgrade to level six. Looks like seven under. Wait, hold on. We'll see. It's about to be level six. Let's see how long it takes to get to level six. It is over eight minutes now. Eight minutes and ten seconds to get to level six. Not bad for not having to do it, you know. If you don't have to do it, then who cares? <laughs> so we'll go to embassy. So, upgrade farm, let's go on there. I believe you could hear my clicks before, so you know I'm not clicking it. <laughs> All right, so, I mean, it's pretty cool though. You got this farm just being built by itself. Now we're in the hero, let's see if it follows directions here. All right, it got back to our screen we wanna be at. Let's see where else we're gonna end up. Upgrade farm to level six. Boom, boom. Get that farm. What? <laughs> Got no stuffy. Huh? Got no stuffy. Mystique's nose is stuffy. She dyed her hair. Alright, so this is this the boring part. This is what you would be having this thing do while you're not looking. I mean it's kinda it's kinda sucks that I have to sit here and look at it. I'm probably gonna fast forward this. Or either I'll, I'll make you look at it. Or either I'll give you an option to look at it. I don't know. I think I'll give you an option to look at it. You probably never know this if I give you an option to look at it that I even had this discussion with myself. Okay. We are over 10 minutes. All right, we finally hit to the point where we have to get our quests. A little almost to 11 minutes so this is where I'm explaining to you guys stuff so for you it'll be a little bit quicker because you're not explaining to anybody this stuff so I did stop and explain in several instances of this so you guys can probably take out a good three to five minutes from this uh, at the end <clears throat> but I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna that's the time that I got this done so <laughs> Approaching the 15 minute mark. This part is really slow. This part is, is what took up a lot of our time, probably. Because you gotta wait for those things to do their little thing. <laughs> and make sure when you do this recording that you have uh, some good internet connection. And when you are running it back to do it, to make it again, make sure your internet connection is good because. It's, if any of that buffering stuff happens, a click will happen, and then another click will happen. And if it was still buffering from the previous click, you're already out of sync, and nothing's going to work. Might end up buying something on accident, so be careful. <laughs> All right, these quests are just going. All right, looks like they're almost done. All right.
right, we should be getting back to our main screen. Boom. All right, we're back in the barracks. I remember that we were we said we're just going to click this to go back in. I remember we did the barracks last time we had to do that. All right. Level 6 coming up. We're approaching the 15 minute mark. Let's see if we can get this level 7 done in 15 minutes. I think what do we have for the uh for the regular stuff? I mean, for the farm actual building. That was like what 16 minutes or something. 15 minutes, 16. That means this to be a total of like 30 minutes. Nope, I don't think we'll make it. I think it'll be over. I think we're going to hit uh, the 17 or 18 mark. 18 minute mark and probably 18. Oh, uh, wait. No, 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 no. We're, gonna, we're not going to hit the 17 mark before level 7. I forgot. This is the last thing you got to upgrade, I think. Until you can upgrade your stronghold. So we might, yeah, I think we'll make the 15 minute mark. Unless I'm talking. I think I'm talking. Quarry. Then we got the wall. So, so yeah, we could do that. Because we're going to go to the wall. And then we're going to go to the stronghold. Or the uh, Acropolis. Hero. Is it hero time? Nope, I think hero will come next. All right, Acropolis level seven. We're, come on. Oh, well, it looks like we're going to make the 15 minute mark. But do we have those speed ups to add? So maybe not. So we got to do those speed ups slow. <coughs> and I'm talking about it right now because I'm telling y'all about those five minute things. So looks like. Oh, we'll make it. Okay. Oh, wait, maybe not. I'm taking too long. No, nope, we won't make it. <laughs> oh, we just barely did make it. There we go. 1504. 1504. Not bad, though. Okay. All right, now we'll see if this worked with the ending part. Cause that, that's where I would, it would have ended it before, remember? Now we're going to see if our scrolls and swipes work. See, now that, that's the part that they, that's um, worrisome. So you may have to just take swipes out of the equation and line up some um, recordings. But it got me to that upper right corner I was talking about. So let's see. So I, at this point, I was talking a little bit. So um, telling you about that. So we're going to sit here and wait for a couple seconds until that is done. All right, there we go. Started. I clicked one farm. Oh, wait, wait, one plot. I'm gonna build my farm. So I began to talk to you again in this mode. All right. And I believe I started my farms, getting them to level one. Make sure that goes. All right, so all together was about, you know, 30 minutes of to, to make you a, an auto farm. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I don't need to go through everything. You, you see that it's happening. You see what's going on. <coughs> and um, is the, the, the farm is, is being built. And it will be automatically done like this. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching the Guy Factory's video. Um, everybody... Go ahead, hit that like button, the subscribe button, and uh, let me know if you guys need any tips on anything else. If you guys want me to add anything in the next video or tell you guys how to do those. If you, if you guys do want me to tell you how to make those, uh, uh, hit, hit, make those attacks while you sleep or whatever um, to harvest your farms, just let me know in the comments or whatever the heck you need, you need and have questions for. I'll see what I can do to help you. Anyway, 